everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hello. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> I am. We're sat in the old spot. It felt weird putting the equipment up. Yeah. Haven't done a video like this in ages. Beardy McBeardison as well. I know. Martin's going a beard for Christmas. I did it last year during Vlogmas for pantomime. But... <gasps> Do you remember you filmed a video as well which was like um, shaving my beard? Oh yeah, that's in one of the vlogmas, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, when I got back home. And a few people were like, no, don't shave it. So today is a bonus video because we have actually run out of space. <laughs> We've run to, out of time. Um, yeah, to put up all the videos that we want to do. So at the moment we have our Disney World videos going out on a Monday. At the moment it's our cruise diaries going out on a Thursday, but we're off to Disneyland Paris soon. We yeah. go November the 4th, so we had to get this video up before we went. Yeah, we thought instead of breaking it up and then yeah. confusing matters by like being home together, being away in Disney World, and then the cruise diaries, so like mixing them up, we thought we'd just keep them the same and do it linear and then put out some bonus videos instead. Yeah. So today we are going to do our Disneyland Paris November bucket list. So yes. this is everything that we want to get done on our next trip, which is very, very soon in November. And it just kind to, of feels a bit surreal. Just to recap as well, this Disney trip is uh, is actually Helena's birthday present. Yay. I, I concocted this idea <laughs> for a trip because I wanted to do something special for your birthday. So that was in August, but now we're, <laughs> we're doing it in November. Yeah. So should we get started on our bucket list? We better. So we've got 21 things that we hope to achieve. 21? I yeah. thought there was 20. No, oh. an extra one snuck in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so number one on our bucket list is to eat at Chez Remy. <gasps> yep, yeah. so that was part of my plan as well, that I wanted to book Chez Remy because I think it was at the last trip where you were looking in through the window, like yeah. a mouse <laughs> or a rat. Let me in. <laughs> yeah. So I booked it and I'm, like when I first booked the the trip I couldn't book the restaurants because you have to do that after a certain amount of time so was it oh how many months was it it was a certain amount of days was it 60 days and I could book mm. the restaurants yeah, so I was actually I was actually on the ship calling from I don't know where <laughs> and I went through the list of all of our dining plans share me was actually available so we do have that booked yeah Although I think I it's nearer the end of our yeah, trip isn't it I can't quite remember when that is but yeah, I'm so excited to um, yeah eat there. I've heard very good things. Yeah. Another thing we wanted to do, and this was included in the trip package that I got through Magic Breaks, and this is something that I know Helena has always wanted to do, and that's the uh, Buffalo Bills Wild West show. So that's included in your birthday package. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm really, really excited for this. I've wanted to do this since we went to Disneyland Paris a few years ago. Yeah. We've always walked past it in Disney Village. and um, Disney Village. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Um, I don't actually know too much about it. I haven't seen it on many, many vlogs, mm -hmm. but um, everyone that has done it says that it's a really good night, it's really good fun, and the food's really good as well. Yeah, you get food, yeah. the characters are involved. Oh, It's going to be a lot of fun. That's really early on, that's the second night. Is it? We're there, so we arrive on a Sunday, and I think it's on a Monday, the Buffalo Bills Wild West Show. Do I need a Stetson? <laughs> a hat. That? A hat. Do I need, I need something hat. Wild West, don't I? <laughs> Number three is to buy matching Disneyland Paris spirit jerseys. I can't believe that Disneyland Paris are doing spirit jerseys. So cool. Oh, I didn't even know what a spirit jersey was <laughs> till you told me. So I got a um, rose gold one from Disney World, but we are thinking that we want matching black ones yeah. for Disneyland Paris. Mm -hmm. And we hopefully can pick them up at the beginning of our trip so that we can wear them a lot. So last time we went, Helena pried me away from the parks <laughs> for a little <laughs> bit. She managed to, uh, to sort of get that Disney fiend to simmer down a little bit. <laughs> and we went and we had a look around Disneyland Hotel and we found a place to have a drink, a cocktail, and we want to do that again. Yeah. I really want to go back to Cafe Fantasia, I think it's called, in Disneyland Hotel. And just, it's so nice to take half an hour to an hour, just relax. You're a little bit away from the parks, yeah. but you're still in the action. And yeah, it was really nice. So I want to go back there and try, try another cocktail. And this time we're going for seven days. So <laughs> we should be able to. You should, you should nod your head there, but you're saying, Martin, you're not going to do that. No. You're going to be like, let's go! Extra magic hours! 
So next on our bucket list is to hopefully catch some live music at Billy Bob's. Yeah, that was the one that I suggested because yeah. we've always gone to Billy Bob's for our meal and then we've sort of had a look at what's going on as we've walked in but then not had a chance to actually watch it. It'd be nice this time to go in, watch some live music and have a drink. Yeah, so I think when you go into Billy Bob's there's a little stand and it says what nights they have live bands. Um, so yeah, at the beginning of the holiday we'll have to go and see if any nights um, they've got some live gigs and then we'll go. Because yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be nice actually. And to experience that, Disney Village that gun night. twirler oh yeah oh we caught that didn't we we caught a little bit yeah. yeah so we've actually got a trip booked to go into Paris and we were asking for your opinions on whether we should do the Eiffel Tower and Riverboat or what was the other one um, the Louvre the Louvre uh, and we think we're going to go for the uh, the Eiffel Tower and the yeah. River Cruise thanks so much for all your um, suggestions and your opinions um, they really helped us out actually when choosing. I well, mean, we'd love to do both. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we think we're going to go for the Eiffel Tower and the River Cruise. And some of you said that the bus that takes you actually stops outside the New York Hotel. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to go in and have a look at that hotel. Yeah. Because um, I always forget that you can actually go into the hotels, have a look around. And I just think it'd be really nice to, to see what Hotel New York's like for any future trips. And. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be a bit nosy, really, and have a look around the hotel. <laughs> I did look, I did look at the prices for Disneyland Hotel when I was booking this trip, and uh, what I was what I was t hoping maybe to do, let you into a little secret, was to have a day tagged on the end, uh, which would have been the Disneyland Hotel, but even for one night, yeah. it was just <laughs> so pricey. Fingers crossed, one day. That's on like our ultimate bucket list, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? <laughs> Next on our bucket list is something which hopefully we will achieve on our day in Paris and that is to get a picture in front of the Eiffel Tower because you gotta, if you go to Paris you've got to get a picture in front of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I've never done that. Yeah. I've been to Paris before but I don't think I stopped near the Eiffel Tower. I think it was on a bus trip that you we didn't, didn't see really... see the Eiffel Tower? Well I think we saw it but I think we just drove past it. Oh, well so hopefully. We stopped and got off. Yeah, on this tour, you get to, um, weather permitting, you get to climb the Eiffel Tower as well. Well, on the outside? Yeah, just climb up it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying this one, but I, this is mainly something that I think you need to do, and that's meet Winnie the Pooh and the Winnie the Pooh characters. Yeah, because you met Woody. I met so Woody, Woody and Buzz. So Woody is um, Buzz. I was going to say Woody is Buzz's. <laughs> Woody is Martin's, like, childhood hero. And Winnie the Pooh is mine. I was obsessed yeah. with Winnie the Pooh. When and I was and just to show you how much I loved that uh, meet and greet with uh, Woody. I don't know if you've seen it actually yet. No, it'll be the near the end. No, it's but near um, the end. I do get to meet Woody, and here's a photo of how happy I was. So you chased Winnie the Pooh last yeah. time we were. <laughs> I didn't manage to get a photo. In this land, Paris. So yeah, you need to meet him. I need to do a Winnie the Pooh meet and greet. Oh, bother. <laughs> Although, they're going to have the guts to tell them that we haven't seen Christopher Robin yet. Because I was waiting to watch Christopher Robin um, until Martin got back from the ship. So, yeah, and now it's not anymore. out at the cinema. So we're having to wait till it comes out on um, Blu-ray. Yeah. Next on the bucket list is something which I hadn't heard about until Debbie um, in the comments let me know. And it's an app called Lime Bertie. And I hadn't heard of it, but apparently you can use this app for meet and greets. I think you can only use it in the studios at the moment. But yeah, we're going to try it out, see if it's any good. And I think you join like a virtual line and then it lets you know when it's your turn to go and meet the characters. Yeah, I didn't so, know about this. Is this an official thing through Disney though? Well, yeah, like it's not... Yeah, like but it must be Disney if, and Paris if use it. If you're joining a queue... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're... it's like official. Right, yeah. okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll um, see what it's like and we'll let you guys know because if that works, I think that would be great. Yeah. That'd be really good. Save you a lot of time. Mm. So this year, they've put something into Disneyland Paris that is from Disney World, Phila Magic. <gasps> Which we love. Is that how you say it? Phila yeah. Magic. Phila Magic, yeah. Yeah. And it's basically Donald Duck trying to um, get his hat back. <laughs> <laughs> that is basically it. But he travels through like lots of different Disney films and it's just really, it's really cute. <laughs> and um, 
I wonder if it would be like the same as Disney World or whether they will make it slightly more high tech or I don't know because it's mm. been in Disney World for a while. Yeah, whether it'll have a bit of a punchier image. Yeah. Like restored or yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know where it's actually going to be on it no. because I thought it was going to be on it Cinemagic, but then I've seen somebody saying that that's where they're going to be doing the Mickey Christmas show. Mm. So I don't know where they're going to put it, but we'll find out. Unless it's where Mickey and the Magician was then. Ooh, possibly, yeah. Yeah. So next on the bucket list is something which we didn't actually know about, and it was someone in the comments that let us know. And while we're there, it's actually bonfire night. Mm. So they do a bonfire by the lake, and I think they do fireworks by the lake. So, yeah, we're definitely going to check that out. Of course. I, think... I knew all this when I booked it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We didn't really think, like, um, obviously we have Bonfire Night here in the UK, um, but I just didn't really think about it. So that's quite exciting that we're going to be there for Bonfire Night. Yeah. And I think they do it over a few days. We spent we spent Bonfire Night in Bath. Mm -hmm. No, spent it in Disneyland Paris. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll definitely check that out and we'll, we'll film it for you in the vlog. So yeah, you'll be able to experience what Disneyland Paris do for Bonfire Night. Yeah. Something we've got to do. We've got to go to the Christmas shop. Yep. We've got to buy a new Christmas decoration. We're really adding them up, aren't we? So yeah, I don't know how many we've got. We've got Goofy, we've got Chip and Dale, Stitch, yep. and Mickey and Minnie yeah. at the oh. minute. So it'll be our fifth one. Put in the comments who you would like us to buy. Yeah. Which character? Because I don't really know, actually. Well, we usually... I was, I was going to say that we usually pick characters that have had some sort of like influence so Stitch we bought that because we'd been to see Stitch live yeah. and we really loved Stitch at that time so yeah is there any character that springs to mind I'm thinking Winnie the Pooh but I don't know if there is any Winnie the Pooh yeah Winnie the Pooh would be cute so next on the bucket list is something which we're going to ask for your help again, and that is to try out a new snack at Disneyland Paris, because we're quite, we tried quite a few new snacks at Disney World, mm -hmm. but we don't really know what snacks are good at Disneyland Paris, no. because we've always eaten at the buffet restaurants. We always like stock up on them, and then we don't really eat snacks around the park. Mm -hmm. um, but because we're on half board this time, it means that we only have one buffet meal a day. So that means we got time for snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have a favourite Disneyland Paris snack. I don't know what's going on in the background, Sorry. but there's just some sort of, uh, <laughs> I think there's some sort of construction with a man <laughs> named Phil. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you have a favourite Disneyland Paris snack, please put it in the comments below because we're really clueless when it comes to good Disneyland Paris snacks. I think there is a Jedi burger, which sounds good. Where's and that? And I think there's um, Cafe Hyperion, I think. Ooh. Um, but I think there's also other... Oh, there's like a, a pineapple whip as well at Disneyland Paris. It's all new to me. Yeah. See, you've got more knowledge than I have. I'm glad this one felt to me. Last time we went, we rode oh, Star yeah. Wars Hyperspace Mountain a total of nine times. Which is so annoying. <laughs> it's like, I hate leaving it on an odd number. So the aim of this trip is to ride Hyperspace Mountain ten times. Which I think we'll be able to do because, I mean, we're there for nearly double the amount of time. Yeah. It's our favourite. Would you say it's our favourite ride? Uh, it's my favourite ride, yeah. Followed closely by... Oh, I don't know. That's a different video, isn't it? I yeah. probably shouldn't get into that. But we have just found out that Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster, it's not closed as I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it closed in February and was being made into the Marvel ride. It's open and it doesn't get changed until next year. Yeah. So what a stroke of luck that is. Really happy about that. But we were a bit out of the loop. We just assumed that it was closed. Yeah. But yeah, it's still open and should be open till next year. So <laughs> Next is another classic competition that we have every year. And that is a Buzz Lightyear laser blast challenge. And we think we normally do best of three, but because we're there for a lot longer this time, we're going to do best of five. Oh, I suck at this one. I know, but you beat me on the Disney World one. Yeah, but I, 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 you're better with the actual gun. Yeah. Whereas I'm better with like holding it and then... And then moving firing it. Firing it. Because it's Disneyland Paris where you, you, you can take with, it out. Disneyland Paris where you can take it out and yeah. you do that. 
Yeah. But my finger gets really tired. <laughs> Whereas on the other one, I think it was a button at the back. Ah, uh, yes. That yeah. you just push with your thumb, and that, that wasn't as bad. But, uh, yeah, we'll see who wins. As always, included on every bucket list, we got to meet the governor, we got to meet Mickey Mouse. Got to meet the boss. Got to meet the boss. <laughs> Next on our bucket list is to have a glotini, which we've never had. What is a glotini? Um, it's like that drink. I think you can have an alcoholic one or a non-alcoholic one, I think. Um, and it's it's all lit up. Oh. Yeah, but they're really popular at Disneyland Paris and we've never had one. So, again, in the comment, I'm asking you to write so much in the comments. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us all your tips in the comments. <laughs> um, but, yeah, if you know the best place to have a glotini, let us know. Um, because, yeah, that's on our bucket list to do this year. Yeah. So... <laughs> Don't worry, guys, you haven't gone crazy. <laughs> we didn't look like this at the beginning of the video. <laughs> no. So, what happened is we recorded the video in three parts. And the final part, I just tried to get off of the memory card and it wasn't there. Which, you know, sometimes that happens to us vloggers. <laughs> Real life. Yeah, the memory card was just, I think it was corrupted yeah. and it was just closing final cut and making my computer go a bit weird so <laughs> so we were like all ready for bed i was actually in bed about to catch up on the apprentice <laughs> and martin was like no we've lost the final bit and martin's going away um tomorrow for a little while to see his family in newcastle so yeah we not kind three of... months no just, just, <laughs> just a few, few days. days but we kind of had to get this video film so that we could get it out when we wanted to get it out before we didn't, our trip. didn't want to push it back. No. And while we've been away, look at what I made. So we spent our evening after we filmed the start of the video making our own Mickey Rice Krispie treats. And the recipe for this was from Chef Dave Crispy Small. Uh, so I don't know, should we quickly taste it? Shall we? Go on. That's so good. So I'm currently sporting a Doctor Who <laughs> dressing gown, but I'm going to have to take it off because it's roasting in here now with the light on. <laughs> <laughs> so we were only four away from the end. So I think if we, if it had happened right at the start of the video, we probably would have filmed the whole video again, but because we were only four away, <laughs> we wanted to keep it real. Yeah. So um, yeah. We're going to bring you the last four things on our bucket list. And we could have made life easier and we could have filmed on the just the vlogging camera. But I was like, it's going to drive me mad <laughs> if the picture quality is really different and the audio quality is really different. So, but, but not us looking completely different. <laughs> yeah. So, so when last time we went to Disneyland Paris, we went through the art of animation and we watched that little feature about Disney. And then we went through and had that little talk about Mushu and the creation of Mushu. And so when you come out there, on the left-hand side, there's a drawing class taking place, sketching class. You can draw one of the Disney characters. And I said I'd fancy doing that, so we're going to try and do it this time. Yeah. I'm quite looking forward to it, actually. I'm not very good at drawing, though, at all. Well, I'm they hoping really that good. they're going to give us some ideas on how to do, you know, because you have to, it's all to do with shapes, isn't it? Yeah. And then you build the character around Outlines. the shapes. Yeah. Next on our bucket list is something which we pretty much try and do every trip. I think it's been on our bucket list now for ages. Yeah. Um, and that is to ride Big Thunder Mountain as the fireworks are going off. We've managed this probably about 80% of the time. I think it's only a few trips where we, we didn't manage to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, fingers crossed we managed to time it right and we get to experience that again. And that'll be some good footage as well because now we've got the mm. Canon G7X Mark II it's quite good and dark, isn't it? Yeah, a lot better than our old one. Yeah. Actually, we haven't vlogged Disneyland Paris on our new camera. Oh, no, we haven't yet. So that'll be, that'll be nice. Yo like, ho, yo thing. ho, yeah. a higher life for me. That'll All the dark good. rides, yeah. yeah. Creepy. <laughs> so I think earlier on today, about six hours ago, I think <laughs> we mentioned that we have a Chippendale a Christmas decoration. And I feel really bad that we haven't met Chippendale yeah. at Disneyland Paris so or any of the Disney resorts. So this time, I'd really like to do that as well because on vlogs, it always looks like quite a fun meet and greet. They look quite playful, don't they? Yeah. Cheeky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we can't tell them apart, though. 
We're going to have to research so we don't get them mixed up. Because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, they, I think they'd get a bit stroppy, wouldn't they? Yeah. Like, playfully they stroppy. They definitely would. <laughs> and then last but not least is that we want to visit Storybook Land, which we didn't know existed. Which is so strange because we've been to Disneyland Paris quite a lot. And we've just never been to that area. And which it yeah. Which... wasn't until Helena uploaded the video of her going... In my childhood. In my childhood. And we saw that big giant book, the story book, and I think I said that it wasn't there anymore. And then one of you put in the comments that it is actually there yeah. and we've just missed it. We just haven't been around <laughs> that area. So I think this is more just like a personal one for us that we just can't believe we haven't seen it. So yeah. we just want to, you know, see every inch of the park. It's a little boat ride <laughs> you can take and it tells you about all the fairy tales in miniatures. Yeah. So that is it. That is 21 <laughs> things that we hope to get done in our next Disneyland Paris trip, which is in November. So really, really soon. Yeah, I'm just looking at my watch there. I think we started filming this video <laughs> at about like quarter to one today. Oh no, it's later than that. It wasn't. By the time we got back from... Oh yeah, no, we went wasn't. to the gym and stuff. We've done we? all sorts after that. Oh, yeah, it was. Because we were it's trying to go to the cinema for two o'clock. <laughs> And now what is it? Quarter and to now ten. it's nearly quarter to ten. <laughs> but I hope you didn't mind too much. I'm so sorry that you had to look at me in my dressing gown with no makeup and my Disney ears. I look crazy. <laughs> but you I know hope what? you. I love crazy. No. Oh. <laughs> Frozen, isn't it? Yeah. Our mental synchronization <laughs> in heaven. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed hearing about our bucket list. We will be doing, put them down. <laughs> <laughs> we will be filming a video after our trip where we'll go through the bucket list and see if we manage to achieve them all. Yeah. And we're actually going to do that for our Disney World trip as well. We so the vlogs are still going for the Disney World trip. Um, so after they're finished, we'll film a video and let you know if we manage to achieve all our Disney World bucket list. But we enjoy making bucket lists for each trip. It just gives you something to like get excited about. And yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm very excited. Can't wait. And don't worry, I've thrown that memory card away. Yeah, never use my memory <laughs> card again. <laughs> but we will leave you in peace now. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Oh, and make these crispy s'more, rice crispy treat tutorial or something. Chef Dave. Chef Dave. <laughs> <laughs> They're really, really good. Scrummy. Bye. Bye. Bye.